Greetings comrades and kinfolk, Gather Round for Nocturnal Simulations has arrived to grace you with an extraordinary trick for achieving flawless epic landings. In case you've been living under a rock and missed the initial video, I highly recommend giving it a gander. Link's right below. Now, if you're still grappling with those pesky landings or itching to outshine your pals in the landing rate competition, I've got you covered. I've got a nifty little secret to share with you today, courtesy of the brilliant viewer Shanksimus16. Tested it out myself and boy was I blown away. Welcome to Nocturnal Simulations, where every week we bring you 90 seconds of tech tips, helping you maximize graphics and performance within Microsoft Flight Simulator, ensuring a smooth and stutter-free experience at a whole new level. Today's topic is about extremity dead zone configurations. Ah, let us reminisce about the previous tech tip, where we encountered a colossal conundrum in the realm of simming. Picture this, the aircraft's nose behaving like an overexcited puppy desperate to fetch a stick. Give those controls a delicate tug, and whoosh, your propeller skyward. Gentle nudge, on the other hand, leads to lightning fast ascent. Oh, the woes of maintaining stability. And remember when we pondered the rarity of utilizing the complete throw of the elevator axis during our regular airborne escapades? Ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, get ready for another wild ride through the twisted realm of sensitivity configuration for your trusty yoke or joystick. Today we shall delve into the peculiar world of extremity dead zones. Behold, as I proudly present my own daring adjustment of 45%. Now, I must confess, my honeycomb didn't quite appreciate this particular tweak, and I eventually lowered it after some testing. But luckily, for I had the pleasure of encountering Cappy recently, a valiant member of our weekly group flights and Discord channel, we were able to test this setting on his Turtle Beach yoke, which is light as a feather. And oh boy did it feel swell. But my fellow adventurers, beware. This setting does have a cheeky little trick up its sleeve. It slices off the tail end of the axis range. So, if you find yourself in dire need of a full elevator deflection, perhaps it's time to take a detour and explore alternative avenues. We will be discussing reactivity next week, which may be exactly what you need, as it doesn't remove the tail end of the axis, so stay tuned. Now here's my top tier advice. Unleash your inner mad scientist and tinker with all the settings in the sensitivity option until you find the sweet spot that tickles your fancy. This is a very personalized feel. And if, by some cosmic quirk, you can't seem to find joy in any of these options, fret not. Just give me a holler and together we shall embark on an odyssey of exploration to unearth the perfect solution for you. And hey, if you feel like I've accidentally obliterated your precious sim, simply revert back to the original settings and give it another whirl. Experimentation is the name of the game, my friends. Happy flying. And that's Bodhi in the background making all kinds of noise for a video. 